I think he's yet to tick off the list, Cool Hand. Gerwin Price, plenty of success. In the finals twice. Having just got the break, he's in danger of being broken straight back and the standards just starting to incre increase. 99, Luke Lugan 92. Double 20, double 16. Could go double double. Decides against it. 60. Now Lugan going Lugan price. It's a big checkout, but it's a good one, especially for this man. What a guide. Double top. 140. Lugan Chance. 32. Been and gone. Double 16. And, and we're back level. Good legs, Luke to throw first. Game. Price had the chance. This is a guide almost, a bouncing off the top side of it. Four and twenty-five. Luke Uguan, 104. 104 then. For a break of throw, hits the treble 18 again. He'll stay there for double 16. Hey, Just the wrong it. side of the wire. And go with Price, step in and save the leg. One dart at tops again. Yeah. And this time he gets it right. Some of the leg is Luke to throw first. Game. Yeah. Owen Price surviving a dart to go four major tournaments over the last couple of years, but in Euro Tour events, similar setup to this, where he can just turn up for these sessions, play at a brilliant four level, and one. keep at it because it just looks like he's not really taking a great deal out of him. He was a little animated when he got that last set of darts out of the board, Luke Humphries, because he hadn't left himself on a finish. And that could be crucial here. 99. Four for Price then to nudge himself back in front. He's hit the treble 16, so he'll stay there. This for tops for a break. Yeah, and he gets it. Go with Price on. back to back legs, finished hey, on legs, tops. And he's two away Game. from ending Luke Humphries. Miracle one here. The max for going price. 140. Important last dart gets him to a finish. Ninety-seven. Going to one hundred and forty-one. Oh, took out one hundred four in the last. Leg. Can't. 63. Seriously threatened the 141. 139 then. Couldn't just get the treble 14. 91. Going to require 78. Is it going to be another one of these finishes? Well, no, he does get two darts at the double, not just one at tops. He's going to need that second dart. And in the end, he needed more than that. And Luke Humphreys to break straight back. Nowhere near. Wow. That was unexpected. Going Price was expecting that to go as well. So double 12 again this time. Gets it. And he is one away from a place in the semi final. Humphreys needs a treble and he gets one as he so often does with that last start. But going price now, another one of those will leave double five. That leaves the bullseye for the match, and a match start comes and goes. The 146 will not go, and going price to beat Luke Humphreys to be the first man to do so in two months. To end the world champ and world number one's hopes of picking up the title here in Bahrain. Is it the 21 to the one? Double two. He has cost himself a match dart. And it might cost him the match. Wow. The Price family can't believe it. Neither can Luke Humphreys. Needs double ten to stay in the game. And he's missed. He has missed it. Humphreys can't capitalise on Price two. missing the double. It's double one, Madhouse for the victory.
Two darts left. And he's busted his score. Wow, what a dramatic ending to this game. Double five. And Humphreys lets Price come back to the board again. How many chances does he need to beat Humphreys? He's been unbeatable for two months, but it's finally over. The winning streak is done. Cool hand is beaten, and the world champion will not be. There's a little boy watching on. Right here with a great opportunity, and that's a lovely first start. Quite follow it in. Ooh, and he won. That is a problem, isn't it? That first start was begging for more to go in the treble, and he only ends up with 81. Yeah, with well, you, yeah, Matt. It's a, it's a short return that is after the first start. He'll be oh, disappointed, Peter. These two players stick their like their dart to stick up just be below that top wire. Peter using the bottom wire and use it to oh, affect there. Get a visit from Wright, and he's getting the opportunity to break straight back here. He is. Well, players with the orange colours oh, on their shirts. Here is Wright then for a first leg. Uh, Nicely uh, done. Uh, 14 dark. Uh, he's left a ton. Smith. 158 for a 4 1 lead. Not going to go on this occasion. And you get the feeling oh, here that this opportunity for right has got to be taken. A break again. And he's going to go treble 19 for double. And he gets it to really rescue the shot here, Peter Wright. Ooh, wayward. Over towards the double three. And this, a brilliant opportunity for Michael Smith. It is. A single eight for tops. Ooh, just underneath. So Peter Wright gets a reprieve. And this for a full successive break of throw. Straight at it. Looking like it. Oh, and there's always the risk. There's the risk of blocking it, and there's the risk of having to waste a dart. And both of them come into play. More opportunities to go 4 1 in front for Michael Smith. He's missed one, yeah, doesn't on, miss again, and he's two away from the semi finals in Bahrain. He would be right up against it. This visit from Smith, but right again, needs 100. Oh, last time he went in the five section, this time the one section, and this time he can't get the treble 19 to recover it. That's a problem for Peter oh, right at the moment. Mm, this, this could be as good as the match. It's a tall order anyway. It's 85 goes. May just be the dart of the ball. And it is for 5 1. And it is yeah. 5 1. No reaction from Michael Smith. But he'll be satisfied. And it's first down to a finish. And there's going to be plenty of pressure. On there. Max for Smith, second of the match for him, and he's one dart away from victory, unless Peter Wright can provide a big finish here. And he's not going to, so Michael Smith, a, a, a routine victory here in his quest to defend his title in Bahrain. Double 14 to finish it off, looks awkward. Game it shot. wasn't awkward, and Michael Smith shaking oh, ahead, but it's another good performance from Michael. Around about the similar average again in the mid to high 90s. Peter, this is just a different level he has to achieve. Yeah, it is. But I think he might be up to it, Wendy. I'll make you right. This could be really, really good. Nathan Asper, look, they're the same management team. I think Nathan did play Luke back when he was 11 or 12 and even then Nathan said I was in a real tough game but this is unbelievable from Luke Lickler back to back 180s to start the match they're supposed to be friends and he's tearing into him oh, what a start this would be oh it's on it's on the first leg of the match Brilliant.
of his World Series debut. He got through the game yesterday. He's hit a perfect leg. Only the second time we've seen him on the World Series. Is there anything this young man can't do? Luke the Nuke Littler. A nine-darter on the World Series. Only the second player to hit one after Phil Taylor. He keeps on doing the improbable. He keeps producing the spectacular. Nathan, you require 170. Something of a calling card for Nathan Aspinall in years gone by, but he's not producing it here. It's another good recovery, though. Yes. And when his maiden major title with a 170 finish. Nathan. You require 115. That leaves tops. Well, it would have been a fifth ton plus check out of the tournament for Luke Little had he found double top there. Aspinall had a 74 combination earlier and drifted from the big number, so he only got ball to come into play. Staying there for double 18. And does not get it, would have been a level game. He rarely misses this, Luke Littler. So confident on double ten. He's got a move, can get awkward, he's chasing now. We've seen Aspinall pin this double five in the match. But we're not going to see Luke Littler hit it here. Nathan, you require 30 Well, this is what him, got him in a spot of bother against Manlock Long. Not just missing the odd dart here and there, but missing clusters of them at double. And Nathan Aspinall has levelled this Nathan game up from 2 0 down. You see that quite often from Nathan, that little pause. But that isn't gripped right, or this will be a loose stem, just. He gets it right, and that is why. And listen to that roar. Could be three consecutive legs for Nathan Aspinall, unless Luke Littler can take the 1 6 4, and he's not going to. 95. Nathan, you require 64. A three on the spin and two against the darts. And to lead this match for the first time, it's in the 16. So stay in that segment to leave the double. Open bed. 32. How crucial could that be? Hard to lead 3 2, and it would have been another break for Nathan. Just the one for Littler. It's just the one he needs, he leads again. Still on throw, just. And he's being played in good spirit up there. He's had to go over the top of the dart there. Focus, Nathan. This is a chance for Littler. 16. One treble Luke combo. Been reeling in ton plus finishes pretty regularly throughout this tournament so far, but he's not going to produce one here. 67. Nathan yes. require 36. Aspinall used a 25 earlier on in the match. Yeah, he's gone aggressive. Double eight. A little pause. I mentioned earlier, you see from Nathan, it hasn't worked to his advantage there. And a chance for Littler to open up a two leg cushion again. No problem. Back in charge. Two legs for Littler, then two for the Asp. Now two more for Littler. Okay, two nil down, two all. Four two down. He's now got it back to four three. Well, he was in trouble, of course, yesterday against Lawrence Ilargan, and it was the burst at the end of the match. A three leg spell, 14 darter, 14 darter, 12 darter. The one in the match, Nathan Aspinall. He might have to do something similar here. These are the challenges that the Asp relishes, doesn't it? And there's no challenge if this love doesn't relish. He's in again. <laughs> Raised eyebrows. <laughs> You've already done it. Just like a few minutes ago. 45. Surely you can't do it again. Oh my word, it's not far off finding the treble 20. 83. Just 
focus, he stayed on the target, brings it down to single to double combination. Nathan uh, well, over at the 16 or the 20. Wow, well, there's the setup. 36. And there was errors for Vitlon on the doubles yesterday. Nathan will hope for some here. There is no mistake. Brilliant 11 darter from Luke Littler. Moves to the brink of victory. He has the darts in this leg and the last leg decider if we go the distance. 70 out here for Nathan. Because Luke Littler is very likely to set up well from 206. Still on. Wow, Expect the layup here from Luke. Early decision to switch. Nice. Switches with the third as well. And get a shot for the match, Luke Littler. Just decides to step across and once again. Wow. He's saved so many visits, Nathan Aspinall, but that may not be enough to save the match. Because Luke Littler gets a match dart at double top and takes his chance. It is another astonishing display from the teenager. A nine darter and another win on the World Series. Luke Littler marches into the semi-finals and he's given himself a chance of marching to the title in his very first World Series event. Yeah, how many times have we seen him do this, set up this shot? Can he take it out for an early break? No is the answer, quite emphatically. Now he's just got to be careful here that doesn't leave the door open. 44. The best visit. And Van Gerwen. Step in. Is he Might staying do. there? He is for double 15. Oh, oh mighty Michael first. Van Gerwen. Draws first blood. Second leg drop to throw first. Game on. Well, what a start. A 150 checkout. And Van Gerwen. 16. Bed. And a break opportunity incoming here for Mighty Mike. Might be one right back at him. And it's one he might well have needed. Brilliant stuff from Rob Cross. And he will get a look at the 86 to level the match. But it's under severe pressure. Certainly is. 86. Level 18 the target. Stay there. Gets the treble. Now he's looking down the board. Game and double seven. And that was well, right that was in the middle. Play. What an end to that leg from Rob Cross, who looked under pressure. The max sets up the finish and he takes it. Well, two legs for Rob Cross. And both of them combination finishes when Van Gerwen has been on either a double or a single to double combination. There is a 13-point gap in the averages. Rosso leaves the big fish this time. 94. Again, no Robin pressure to take it out. MVG had a go at it. Does Cross feel compelled to do the same? Wow. Yeah, that's not a bad setup, is it? There was nothing lucky about that one. It's been a night where the performances are getting better and better. And that 13 dart leg means we've now got here and now. Just feels like neither of them have done anything wrong in this game. Rob Cross is averaging 100 and hasn't missed a dart at double. 16. Is it possible to lose the match on the practice board before? Wow. You can't, you can't say he hasn't given him a real test, can you? 19. Great tough match school. Is it? This is a tough school. It really is. But he's going to... Well, like you said, Dan, 
He needs one good leg. If it, assuming he can hold here, he wow. needs one good leg against 21. the throw. But it is an assumption that he can hold because Van Gogh has kept pace with him here. Treble 18 leaves the bullseye. It's the only double that's been missed in this game. But he doesn't get a crack at it. 63. Mark will require 120. One, two, three. Needs treble 18 and gets treble 18. Needs the bullseye. And Van Gerwen finishes it in style. What a performance from Mighty Mike. His second ton plus out of the night. Averaging a smidgen under 106. Rob Cross has done very, very little wrong. But he simply could not overpower Mighty Mike. He is through. He likely has bought himself some time. 57. 60. Can you go 167? Can't take out the big finish, but could leave this very handy indeed. Looking down the board, can't quite get the trouble. 17. Oh, brilliant first start. Surely, good guy. Yeah, yeah. it is. We hold the throw and lit the leads again. Second maximum of the match for Luke Littler. His 12th of the tournament so far. He did the lot as well, just to leave a finish. Oh, is this Luke Littler making his move? He made it on this visit. Incredible, 170. Brilliant from Luke Littler. A 180 followed by a 170. He's had a nine data tonight as well. And Littler finds the first break of throw in this semi-final and uh, illustrating there that he's reeled in the big fish. Important leg. And two legs away from the final oh, as we it. enter. Bit of a break at the middle of this match. And Price isn't going to leave a finish here. He's got so much time to close out this seventh leg, Luke Littler. Twenty-seven. A loose one. Going can put another one in there. He's coming for colour. What a visit that is from Gerwin Price. And out of nowhere, he's in the leg unless Littler takes out this 103. And he's gonna get a shot at tops. And he gets it. It's another top plus checkout from Luke Littler. And he has blitzed his way into a 5-2 lead in a race to seven. The Iceman needs to come back. Can he do it? Oh. Two. And it's nothing for show here. It's all about accumulating legs on the board. And this has been a fine start after the break. Tops for a 13 data. Should be a good marker. Should be. Ooh. Well, he'll be back. Yeah, no harm done, you, you'd think. Little, uh, looking to sort of bring this 189 down, hope for some errors from Gary Whoa. Price. And his doubling hasn't Gary been on point 20. this weekend. Price chasing up to double five. He could have problems again here. And it Seven. is, and it's... Oh, I'd be disappointed. That is six for the leg. He's missed seven in the match now, Price. This could be as good as the match if this ball goes in. And it does go in, a real steal for Luke Littler. But he's now one leg away, no reaction from either player. But Littler is now throwing for a place in the Bahrain Darts Masters final. It's tailed off. Littler should complete the victory and book his spot in the final from here. So, first chance to finish it then. Is it going to be another Tom Plus checkout? He's got the two trebles. Now he needs a double. Oh, Couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. Well, it was a miss using two treble 18s that changed the world final. And is it going to change this semi final? Price enjoyed that one. He knows he had a bit of work to do still. Nice right? smile from Luke Littler, but one of the breaks is clawed back. Brilliant finish from Gedwin Price. The triple 19s, there's one of them.
Can't find the second. And Price needs a big hit again. He's just had a 1 4 6 to keep himself in the semi final. Is he going to follow with a 1 4 2? Well, he's got the first one. Oh, just couldn't follow it in. And that might be it for Gerwin Price as Luke Littler has already had one opportunity to wrap up a place in the final. Does not mean another one. Topsy gets. Warm handshake from Gerwin Price who's been overpowered by Luke the Nuke, and he is through to his first ever World Series of Darts final. He's beaten Gerwin Price by seven. Yeah, I don't know 50, if my eyes seven. are deceiving me. I, he's not playing slowly, but he just seems to be playing in a more measured pace, Michael Smith. Everything about the setup and addressing the hockey just seems to be taking a great deal of care. They're not flying through this game at the very top speed. He's always going to be quick, Mark. Put the lemon dart on it. Here's a little nod of the head. 2 2. Brilliant start for the both of them here. Michael Smith used 27 darts to win his two legs. Michael Van Geerwin has used 24 darts to win his two legs. That gives Van Gerwen room to manoeuvre. Six starts from here, he might not need six starts. He certainly will need a second visit now. He's got double 17s with decision to make when he comes back, but he is coming back. Smith, he's got to apply pressure and hope for errors, but Van Gerwen's a break again. He broke in the first leg. Can he break in the final leg before the break? He has done, and uh, takes a key moment in this match, Michael Van Gerwen, in the break of throw. He crosses the halfway line. He's three legs away from setting up a final with Luke Littler. Michael Van Gerwen leads Michael Smith. 74 left. Michael Smith scrambling to get to any kind of a finish. It's good. It's very good, in fact, but it may not be good enough. Has been missing doubles. Opportunity again. Michael Smith got a look at 130 in the previous leg. He didn't take it out, but then he did get a go at the top. So he didn't take that out. The first time didn't do any favours. This time it's on point. Bullseye. And he does level up, but he just won't go away, Michael Smith. He's had setbacks, but he keeps recovering. And at no point in this semi final has either player had a two leg cushion. We're effectively now at a best of three. But a clash with Luke Littler in the final. And Michael Smith has the advantage of the darts. 74 left. Michael Smith scrambling to get to any kind of a finish. It's good. It's very good, in fact, but it may not be good enough. He has been missing doubles. Opportunity again. Michael Smith got a look at 130 in the previous leg. He didn't take it out, but then he did get a go at the top. So he didn't take that out. The first time didn't do any favours, this time it's on point. Bullseye! And he does level up, but he just won't go away, Michael Smith. He's had setbacks, but he keeps recovering. And at no point in this semi-final has either player had a two-leg cushion. We're effectively now at a best of three for a clash with Luke Littler in the final. Van Gerwen just taken out 72, and he went this way. Double six. And he's missing again. We just can't get a hold of throw since the break. For it to swing back in Michael Smith's favour again. Double top. And he doesn't take the chance. And Van Gerwen on an awkward double three. But he should be up to it. Is he? No, he isn't. He's going to do well to get in there with the last time we saw from the camera angle. They pinned up and there wasn't a lot of room. Smith to send us all the way. Van Gerwen's had five darts for the match. He's not going to get any more, does he? He's not in this leg. And we go to a deciding leg where, for what it's worth, Michael Smith has got the darts. Michael Smith to throw first. Wow. We're not quite in Abdul Nasser Yusuf territory, but that took a very fortunate deflection to find double top. 
Look at the cat. And Gearing knows that Smith isn't on the finish. Like you rightly said, Dan, he's been needing plenty of time of late in the last two. few legs, Michael Van Gearing. Oh, he's going to leave something very good. It's wow. brilliant from Michael Smith. Now, Michael Van Gogh, and he's only going to get one more match dart maximum. And he's needed loads more than that. Does he stay there? No, he goes 18s for the double. And pins it. Michael Van Gogh, when it really, really mattered, gets the double to win the match. And Michael Smith will not retain the title here in Bahrain. We have our final. It is mighty Michael Van Gerwen, the most successful player in World Series history, against 16-year-old Luke the Nuke Littler on his World Series debut. Is he about to go home with the spoils from Bahrain? 25. Luke at 134. Well, not the authoritative start that mighty Mike would have liked. 56. Not exactly the setup shot that Littler wanted, but it looks like he's got a bit of time. Looks can be deceiving. 38 then 78. for the opening leg. There's the treble. Now he needs double 12. Six, Doesn't six. get it. Well, and we'll get 48. a look at 148. Wanted to hit four ton plus outs in the tournament, but he won't be adding to that number just yet. 56, Luke at 12. Double six, double three. Is found. Luke Littler takes the opening leg of the final. The bandwagon rolls on here in Bahrain. Nice visit, Van Gerwen, but even despite that, he's not on a finish, so look, the Rady seven. No need to go 20 and ball, so went to the tens. Can just set the shot up. And if you. We've got enough time to do that sort of thing against Michael Van Gogh, and things are going all right. 434. Oh, nice set up. 40. And Van Gogh in tops then. Yeah, from the top he delivers. Oh, now can only hope to put some more pressure on. And how ironic he hits the two. Well, oh, look at that. He takes out the 160 he would have oh, needed if he'd got the single 20 on the leg bit on the throw before. Again, this is not an easy finish. He's going double double again, and it does not work again. 23. And Luke Littler was in Luke trouble in this leg. 20. Van Gerwen has not punished him. Yeah, a bit like Huge down. Stares the double 20. 10 down as he goes to collect the dart. And he's got a bit. Just the four oh, perfect darts to start this leg. Before we all got very excited about a potential second nine darter of the night. 54. Well, I think the, feed, uh, the feeling backstage when he hit the six perfect darts after the nine darter, we thought he was going to do it then as well. Oh, you almost expect it. Look at this oh. for a leg. Possible 11 darter to hold throw. Michael Van Gerwen is miles away. 99. Luke no two ways about it. In this final, Luke Littler is the better player. And he is a better player than Michael yeah, Van Gerwen right now. That much benefit, but having covered the treble 20, he wanted to find a new target. 86. Luke Could be an important last start for Michael Van Gerwen to leave a Shanghai finish. Yeah, will he get a go at it? Well, he's gone the 18th route and couldn't get the treble. So Van Gerwen will get a look. This is a whole throw as well. Needs a treble. Does not get it. Littler smells blood. For a break and a two-leg lead. There is no ruffling in this lad. Why is this a surge? Is this a fight back from Michael Van Gerwen? A third max. No. Mentioned he was pushed all the way by Smith. He found the answers in the semi final. Can he find them here? Is it tops, tops again? It is. There's one. And there's the other. 
What an end to that leg. And a break straight back. That's what Michael Van Gerwen can do. And that's a message to the youngster. This final is far from over. Green was in the green there. He has a little look. I thought he might just go for the 180s to leave an awkward double, but just try and get some noise in the room to distract MVG. The need distracting. Can't take out the 113. And Luke Littler to break. Double four. Two darts missed by the nuke. And Gerwin to level up. He's looking at tops. He wasn't sure if that was in or not. Double ten, the new target. And double ten is missed. Badly inside. So Littler with a chance to break again. Double four. Six four. four. More misses from Luke Littler and Michael Van Gogh is being let off the hook here. And we are level. Well, they're on Michael Van Gerwen. An excellent game with Rob Cross. And it took right till the end for it to be decided. Is this one going to be going all the way here? We're going to go 167. Got back on level terms, but unable to keep pace with Littler, who makes it sensible play. Didn't entertain treble 19 and bullseye, just wanted to take as big a chunk out of that as possible. Well, he needed that last start, but that might not be enough. 70 then to go back in front. 20 for tops. Doesn't get it. So Van Gerwen gets a look at 139. Very difficult shot, too difficult for MVG in the end. Oh, he leaves enough. himself on tops, but Luke Littler adores double ten. Yeah. No problem at all. Six five. Two more legs required. Michael Van Gerwen managed to level up, but finds himself once again in arrears, and that is not the start he needed here. Nine. Well, the 19's first, he's hit the treble. Couldn't get the double-double this time. But unless Van Gerwen can raise the roof here. Well, he might be raising the roof. Can't hit the treble 20. So Littler for a break and to move within one. It stops. Misses. And Littler snatches the darts out the board, shaking his head. He just can't put this game to bed. Van Gogh in 20 segment, leaves double five. 84. Wow, that was close. Littler will have to tidy up. 19 for double 10. Double 10 is hit. A nod of the head, a shake of the head from Van Gogh. And Luke Littler now is throwing for his first senior PDC title. He can't do it again, can he? No, he can't. But if he can pick up a treble, he doesn't. It is still a makeable outshot, but there is hope for Van Gerwen. Needs trebles. Doesn't find one. So Luke Littler, for a moment of darting history, is looking at 1-1-2. One, one, doesn't get the treble. He'll have to wait a little bit longer. Van Gerwen to save himself. Needs 144. It needed to be perfect and it isn't. And Luke Littler is going to get championship darts. The 16-year-old to complete a sensational tournament. A sensational story. It is a dream debut in the desert for Luke Littler. The nuke has been the ball. He is the ball. Your winner receiving the spectacular trophy, ladies and gentlemen, and for the very first time in his career, we crown him
the Bahrain Dance Master. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Luke the Nuke. Luke, 